Hello, I'm Giant 2B. I'm here alone uh, on this uh, January evening uh, b uh, doing another fine fan fiction of Before the Madness, uh, the final chapter, chapter 7, uh, Mr. Smee's point of view. Um, about to wind this down. Uh, reviews are reviews and subscribe is greatly accepted. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> I just want to uh, uh, r remind those that this uh, content is not for children, and uh, all music belongs to uh, Oliver Wallace, um, and uh, art belongs to uh, Hopeless Romance Forty Five. And uh, anything not recognized belongs to me, otherwise it's owned by Disney and it's written on fanfiction.net. Uh, here we go, uh, Chapter 7, Mr. Smee's Point of View. We got closer and further to grills and gold bread than ever. Mr. Smee, keep quiet, the captain said. Aye, shh, the captain put his hook, new hook up to my mouth. We tiptoed towards the treasure. For a moment... It was like the universe had frozen with all of its glamour and what we have seen in our eyes. As soon as we grabbed the treasure and some bells woke, uh, one of the kids got up. Pirates! Yelled a lost boy. Run! Yelled one of the crew members. Then a lost boy threw a rock at one of the a boarding party. Who threw that, that, that? As the crew shot at the boy. Missed me! The boy st uh, uh, stuck out his tongue. Ran as fast as we could as we did we were, uh, as we were belted with rocks. Then that blasted uh, fairy uh, guy came back with the, with, the, with the lost boys. Oh, Hook, you come to return my treasure, I see! No, boy, this is mine, as payment was done to me. The captain shook at the boy. I don't think you understand the meaning of, of, ta of taking away my treasure, Hook. Oh, but I do. I do, indeed I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see your game. Okay, I'll count out to ten and find that you uh, do the same. Very clever, Captain. Whatever makes you say that, you stupid boy. Peter Pan is still thinking of the game of counting to ten as you ran. Back to the ship with the treasure. One, two. Payment has been restored, mates. As the captain bark. Hurrah! The crew said as the roaring chair. Set sail, Mr. Smee. Hi, captain. I responded as about to the order from the south as blasted Peter Pan was along was back. So so. Along with with the Tinker Bell. Those boys with those boys. I hated those boys. They were th those boys. They were smelly, dreadfully dressed, animal skin, and sleeping sleeping in animal clothing. And I thought our crew was dirty. Oh no, these boys were utmost dis disgusting. The captain turned about and saw Peter Pan gaining as usually as he usually did. I found you, Captain. Peter said with a grin. I decided to bring some of my boys as well, Peter Pan continued. Boy, you don't get it. This is now my treasure. You mean what is now, if you please, Captain? Request denied, boy. Means no. That's not fair game, Pan st stared in anger. That's right. I am a pirate, and no prepared to meet your maker, boy. The captain took out a blunderbuss pistol and shot towards the boy, but he flew away and, and, as he was shot. Oh, on with more swords as, as you come on. Come on, let's play, Peter said. Not this time, boy. The captain hoisted the sword towards the boy, and Peter Pan thrusted his little knife. Uh, the Lost Boys were, were all uh, attacked, and the crew, they attacked. I fought the Lost Boys in the back and forth of the swords. The boys had uh, shots the other... Uh, there were other in, in, Indian men with their Indian objects thrown at us. We kept going as, as back and back fighting as, as, as we could. Then we heard a noise and it was the Indians calling. Well, Hook, I got to go. You can keep my treasure by what? By must be warned. We must be returned soon. Gotta fly. We are not dumb, boy. I will get you. The captain yelled. Good game, Captain. But I gotta go. Come on, boys. It's time for dinner. <laughs> Peter Pan yelled and took to his hat and bowed and flew off. And the boys left. Not this time! 
They turn the ship about, the captain ordered. Turn the crew as the handsman turned towards the island as the captain's peeper. Sir, we got the boy's treasure, let's go, I said. Nonsense, Mr. Smee. Yes, sir, we need to get home. We will, after the boy has heard my firm, has, has, has his head firmly on my deck, on my desk. Just then we heard a crash. The ship crashed into the rocks as we were arguing. Apparently the entire crew had liked us to watch us squabble. We're taking on water, said a crew member. Let's thinking, said another. Grab the chest. Grab the chest, the captain barked. Then before I knew it, the next thing I remember, everything went black. And when inside we turned, we had realized that we were on the other side of the island. It's just me, I thought we were sinking, then everything went dark, well, now we're, we are here. What's going on, Tutan? I don't know. It's that boy doing some sort of magic, I bet it's against us. Captain said. Are you sure? It is. The, cap the crew member asked the captain. Positive! The captain responded. Sir, I have to disagree with you. As you as you are my friend, I have to advise you of this foolishness. Nonsense, Mr. Smee, we will get Peter Pan. And then we will go home. And so began the madness, repeated loop of trying to get Peter Pan and always landing up here in the same si side of who knows where uh, of this pirate cove. Weeks went by as we uh, pursued Peter Pan, and I started to lose count. Weeks turned into months, months turned into years. I don't know anymore. I started uh, starting to forget what day it was. I started at the beginning of the pure madness. Lost forever in this Neverland. The captain's pursuit, forgetting where the P Peter things had gone, keep ending up in this part of the island. Then Peter started to bring children to the to tease us with and call it, call it and play with us. Time was changing somewhere, as it was not here or wherever it could be. I could tell the styles of clothing of these new children had, had changed, with Peter somehow returning with them every time. Then one day, uh, Peter started bringing back a girl named Wendy. Peter was fond of this girl. Peter may have been slowly maturing, as now he was interested in girls. The captain tried to use this girl, the we his weakness, in kidnapping her, but, but to, to, to every time he failed. Instead, the captain got lost in the shadow, cut out of the fights as usual. Well, this girl has captured her shadow, his shadow. She brought it home with him. I feel this girl will return to us again. Home. I wish I was home again. I wish I could taste the real food of this, uh, to keep the rearing of the ship's scally. One flaw of this Neverland has inspired uh, uh, probably just a trick to make us feel alive. Who am I kidding? This is madness. Not sure if, I, if we're alive or dead. Or... Are we alive? No. Are we dead? No, I don't know. The crew seemed to be stuck in some sort of trance, listening to orders left and right, but, but, but alas, the sense I was, they were about to buckle. The next time Pam brings that girl again, though she will see, it would be an older time, is meaning back on Earth, is time is a meaning back on Earth somewhere. Well, we are here again, lost the uh, uh, cruise of madness in Neverland. Better fix up, better fix up the Catherine Shale again on, on another jolly day. Though, even though I hear singing, I'm sure they're they're frustrated inside. Oh well, another madness. I mean, jolly day in Neverland. The time to give the captain his shave. The end of the sadness. And that is the end of chapter seven of the entire story. I'm sorry for ending this fanfic. But I never got uh, enough uh, people to read at the time, and I don't have enough viewers to, to ever finish anything. Uh, I'm not I'm not running out of ideas because this was the second. This is actually the last story, but this has to be the second to the last story, and I have my other fan book uh, coming out, which is the last uh, of that. So, and then I'm gonna be changing my series to something else. There, so I'm finished with uh, all the fan fics, except for one more that to go, which is a sci-fi. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching and enjoying uh, these narrations. And uh, to all my friends who ever m made it out this far, I'll see you out there and reviews and are out there. And subscription is always welcome. You're always uh, blessing me all. I hope uh, uh, that, that I'll see you out there on the Avenger. I advise you that this is, a, uh, this is not for children. And uh, this is uh, Giant2B signing off.
God bless and have a good night.